Hello everybody, my name is Tim Schietkatten and I'm a research associate at the Florence School of Regulation. For this edition of our topic of the month, I will talk about offshore energy infrastructure. The potential of offshore wind energy is enormous and it is expected that this energy source will become one of the essential components in order to reach our EU climate targets, especially on the longer term. Just to illustrate, on the 6th of June this year, nine energy ministers representing countries around the North Seas and officials from the European Commission signed a political declaration with the aim to facilitate the development of offshore wind energy. Today, about 1.5% of our electricity consumed in the EU is delivered by offshore wind, and it is expected that this percentage will only increase in the future. When an offshore windmill developer decides where to site or where to install its windmill, of course the local wind conditions do matter but also the regulatory regime in place is important. An example of such a regulatory matter are the offshore cables. In order to deliver the energy where it's generated offshore to where it's consumed onshore, we need cables. But who should build, own and pay for these cables? Should it be the onshore transmission system operator or the TSO? Should it be the wind developers themselves? Or should it be a third party who can make a business out of it? If we look at what happens in different countries, it seems that they are applying different approaches. But who is leading the example here? This is not an easy question to answer. To read more about this discussion and about other regulatory matters related to offshore energy infrastructure, please visit our website.